Hey everybody, Paul here with another part of my Let's Have Fun series. So this is another series, um, this is another game, actually, that uh, when it came out, I got it right away. And it's such a fun game. And I just thought it would be a fun game to try out and do in my Let's Have Fun series. Uh, I know one other YouTube person who did this. And uh, I'm not going to do it to the scale they did it. Probably just going to do a little bit of it. Uh, but yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Anyways, welcome. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your own game, very your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Um, let's name the company. Just do something really easy. Peterlia Co. No, Peterlia Inc. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be Jeff. I don't know why, but I just feel like Jeff. Uh, let's find someone who kind of looks like me, maybe. I guess the Bose is the first guy. <laughs> let's, let's choose what I want to wear. Don't really care for any of these. I guess I'll just choose that. Um, I'm not going to import hints because I want to make this full. Uh, yeah, tutorial. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape to access the main menu. Congratulations! You've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you are the only employee. Don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay, so let's develop a new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. So let's pick a topic. Um, let's do zombies. It's going to be an action game on the PC. Let's call it Zombies 8. Wait, Zombies 8. My homework. Perfect. Because it's going to be like 8 bit graphics. <laughs> uh, it's going to be 2D graphics V1. It's going to cost a little bit more, which is fine. But yay! Ooh. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay, so we want gameplay high. Don't really care about story. And engine pretty high. Woo! -hoo! We're developing our very first game. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will, be, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Okay, so now we're at the development stage 2. Dialogue, don't really care about. Level design, pretty well good. And AI, we want high. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick 
basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Um, so yeah, we're going to use basic sound, graphics high, world design pretty good, sounds eh. Ooh, this is gonna get be good, you guys. I can feel it. Uh, the development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash you and you can't afford to wait. So let's just wait for the bugs to go out and let's finish. The development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you can gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. So we got 11 and 12. Our engines going up, gameplay going up, story a little bit, dialogue a little bit, level design pretty good. AI is really good. World design went up a little bit. Yeah, and Jeff is at plus 95 release the game. Your game is now complete. It will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Oh god, what is it going to be at? I'm, I'm anticipating the first reviews of our newly released game, Zombies Ate My Homework, came in. Oh god. Please don't be too harsh. Fun at Stages by Star Games. Oh no, what is it going to be? Okay, by Informed Gamer. And who's next has its moments game hero. And last, I've seen better all games, but you know what? It was my first game. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. Generate a game report, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Uh, generate game report. For Zombies Ate My Homework. Paterlia Incorporated, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Zombies Ate My Homework. This game re received favorable reviews. With such a good star, Paterlia Inc. Incorporated, Paterlia Incorporated are sure to gain fans quickly. Yeah! Oh, wow. Zombies Ain't My Homework sold 3,168 units in its first week on the market. We made it in the charts at number 88. Wow. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales and uh, sales graph in the top right of the screen. Zombies Ain't My Homework was so successful that we now have 17 fans. Nice. Our post-release analysis of Zombies Ate My Homework is complete and we got the following results. Zombies in action is a great combination. AI seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform genre match action PC is good. Good. <laughs> okay, game reports are a great way to gain re more research points and new insights it pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu to open the research menu, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Uh, yes? yeah, research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. And try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Um, let's do a new topic. Let's do ninja. I kind of want to do a cool ninja game. And we just have to research it. And this game is, but yeah, this game is a really fun game. Uh, I'm glad I'm doing this little let's have fun series and just doing a bunch of little games. It's just fun. <laughs> you have successfully researched a new topic. Ninja. Let's make a new game. Let's do Ninja, because I want to do that. Let's do 
Adventure and on the PC again. Um, let me think of a name for this. Okay, I'm gonna name this Ninja Tactics. It's a great game where you learn how to be a ninja. It's gonna be 2D graphics. Oh yeah! The gameplay is gonna be pretty good. Uh, story is gonna be up there with it. Engine, not so much. Eh, we can live without engine. But yeah, this is gonna be a fun game. <laughs> Zombies Ate My Homework has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Petrolia Incorporated. Ooh, yay! Okay. Um, I think I want AI to be down a little bit more and these two to be more. Okay. Woo! We're going up. We're getting there. World design. It's hard because I really I want like everything in my games, but you can't. Let's do that. Zombies ate my homework is now off the market. It sold ten thousand eight hundred and ninety-five units, generating seventy-six thousand two hundred and ninety-six dollars in sales. Wow. Pretty good. Okay, so let's wait for the bugs to get out and let's finish this. We didn't get any new things, but we still did pretty good, I think. Okay, we're leveling up. Jeff is getting there. Release game. See how it does. I'm really nervous. The first reviews of our newly released game ninja uh, game ninja tactics came in. What is it gonna be? Oh no. Oh no. Adventure games work well on PC. Thanks. No. Bad. <laughs> Screw you, informed gamer. <laughs> Meh. My game hero and oh no. What are they gonna give? Three disappointing all games. Oh no. Let's see how it sells anyway. Recent market studies suggest that the Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end of comp uh, competing hardware manufacturers. Well, those ex experts are wrong. Because... Logic. Uh, it's still selling, but we're losing some fans. Oh no. Um, let's research a new topic. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's generate a game report so we can see what we did wrong. Ooh, we get to earn some research points by generating game reports. A post release analysis of Ninja Tactics is complete, and we got the following results Ninja Adventure is an okay combination. World design seems to be very important for this type of game. Uh, platform, genre, match is great. Okay, let's research a new topic. <sighs> I'm getting terrible things. Let's do an airplane game. Let's do, let's do a text-based airplane game. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> According to the rumors of the Japanese... Uh, rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Ooh, Ninvento. I really want to do a lot of stuff for them. <laughs> You have successfully researched a new topic. Airplane. Okay. Let's develop a new game. 
Uh, let's make a simulation airplane game on the PC still. And what should we name it? Let's name it Come Fly With Me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Yeah. You get to fly your own plane and get to do cool things. Me too, D. It's going to be awesome. Ninja Tactics is now off the market. It sold 3,313 units, generating $23,219 from sales. Uh, that wasn't that good, but whatever. Mm, no story, because no one cares about story in this kind of game. Gameplay is a must, though. Okay. Ooh. Um, AI don't care about level design pretty high. Dialogues, eh. So far, so good. I mean, looks like we might get another thing. Um, hmm. World design, I don't think sound really matters. But okay. Ooh. Let the bugs. Oh, today Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors that announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Hmm, it looks familiar. Uh-oh. Uh, let's let that bug iron out and yeah, we got a new record at least for one thing. Oh, we're almost level 2 for a few things. Okay. Yay, we're level 2 in level design. And in graphics. And Jeff is almost level 2. Let's see how this does. Come on. The first reviews for our newly released game, Come Fly Out With Me, came in. Oh no, what's it going to be? I like it! Yes! Fun at stages. Hey, you know what? I'm glad it was fun. Simulation games work well on PC. Have seen better. But you know what? You still gave me a five. Thank you. Woo! Okay. Let's generate a game report. And see how we do. Not bad. 2.5 thousand in one week. Okay, hi there. I've just finished Come Fly With Me and I am impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you ev are ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. Jason. Contracts have been now have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay, well, let's finish finish our game report. Our post-release analysis of Come Fly With Me is complete, and we got the following results. Airplane and simulation is a great combination. Story quests uh, seems to be very, uh, not very important for this type of game, and platform genre match. Simulation PC is great. Nice. Um, let's look at the contract work. Contracts are a useful tool to earn some great extra cash when your balance is low and can also be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you will have to pay a penalty. So it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Okay. Let's do... Let's do this one. It doesn't seem to be too hard. Make some game backdrops. Hopefully we can do this. Oh god, come on, stop scratching your head and finish this. I don't want to <laughs> pay money. Oh god, no, no, come on, come on. Oh, I was so close. Oh, uh, well, I lost $4,000. <laughs> Jason here. I see that the contract was not completed, uh, completed in time. Be careful that uh, what contracts you accept, otherwise those penalties will quickly add up. Don't worry too much though, I don't hold grudges. If you want to try again, let me know. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Okay, let's 
Let's do another one. Let's do one maybe we could do. Uh, let's try this one. I'm gonna do some character designs. Hopefully we can do this. Don't scratch your head. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got this. Oh, today the new game platform T test by Ninvento has been released. Oh, we should uh, make some games for that. And yes, we did the contract work. Come Fly With Me is now off the market. It sold 9,029 units, generating $63,245 in dollars in sales. Nice. Just what, uh, just what we wanted. We will transfer $23, $23,000 to your account. Cool. Um, let's research a new topic. Horror. That should be good. <laughs> Even though I don't do horror games on this show, because I don't really care for them, I don't really feel like overacting um, when it comes to scary games like a lot of people do. Yeah, eh. Okay, so let's develop a new game. Let's make it horror. And let's make it... Uh, adventure. On the... Hmm. Eh, uh, we can't do that yet. Never mind. <laughs> we can't get on the TES yet. Okay, let's call this one... Let's, let's make this a ghost one. Ghost in the um, basement. So it's a game where you go into the basement and you have to try to save someone, most likely your daughter, and there's a bunch of ghosts down there. Yeah, that's it. Let's make it 2D graphics. I don't know why that's up. Um, story and quest pretty good engine don't really care about Oof. I wonder if this is gonna be a scary game uh, AI we want high dialogues and eh. level design eh. okay I think this is gonna be an awesome game you guys like completely awesome <laughs> While generating game reports, you start to gain insight into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you have turned this option off in the settings. The hints range from plus 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 to minus minus, and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end, plus 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 question mark, it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre, but that you are not yet sure whether this holds true for this particular genre topic combination. Okay, so let's keep up world design. Let's put sound up and graphics down because you really want to hear that sound and be scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is such a fun game. And I'm so happy I'm Let's Playing this right now, even though it's not a full Let's Play. It's still so much fun. Ooh. Ooh, yay, we're getting more stuff. It's finished. Let's see how this does. We got new records on both of those. We got new topic and combo. We're probably gonna level up everything right now. And I'm really happy about that. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, and Jeff is level two. Okay, oh, come on. What are the reviews? The first reviews for our new rele newly released game, Ghost in the Basement, came in. What is it going to be? Five has its moments. Four, it's okay. Four, not bad, not good. And five, falls a bit short. Jeez, I keep getting low grades, but mm, I guess it's expected. Especially when I'm first starting out. I want to finish the off like this ep uh, this little thing with a good game, but I haven't gotten the any good like things to do. 
Our post-release analysis of Ghost in the Basement is complete, and we got the following results. Horror and adventure is a great combination. Graphics seems to be quite important for this type of game. Oh. Oops. <laughs> okay, um, let's research an another topic, see if there's anything good. Ooh. Let's do racing. That should be fun. This is probably going to be our big one. Because racing simulators are sell really well. Like, really well. Okay. You have successfully researched a new topic, racing. Okay, let's develop a new game. Racing simulation on the PC. Let's call it... Um... Let's call it Super Racer Deluxe Ultra. Maybe if I spelled Deluxe right. <laughs> and let's do it like that. Uh, let's make it 2D graphics. Don't care about that. <laughs> um, story and quest don't matter at all. Uh, gameplay really good. Engines pretty good. Okay, we're gonna make this a great game. And the recently released test home console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the t with the test, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Yeah, I want to, but I don't have enough money. AI, we want high level design, pretty high dialogue. Don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Ghost in the Bathroom is now off the market. It sold 5,652 units, generating $39,578 in sales. I don't know if it's dollars or not. It doesn't have any dollar signs, but I'm going to say it's dollars. Okay. Graphics, pretty high. Sound, don't care about. And world design, pretty good. Ooh, I think we're already... Yeah, we're going to get new records, at least for design. Gonna finish out ironing the bugs. Let's finish this, and 16 and 11, new topic and combo. Let's raise our levels a little bit. Ugh. Let's release game, come on. Good, good reviews, come on. You can do this. The first reviews for our newly released game, Super Racer Deluxe Ultra came in. What is it going to be? Seven. Good game. Seven. Enjoyable. Eight. Very enjoyable. And last but not least, beautiful. Seven. Woo! I f knew this was going to be a great game to finish it on. And let's just see how the first week sales go. Oh, God. We sold. Oh my God. Um, yeah. <laughs> we got 31. We ranked 31 in the first week. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to generate a game report. And then I think I'm probably going to end it there. <sighs> Stop scratching your head. Recent studies suggest that the, that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others ca cater for the more mature age group. Okay, as more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. New research available. Target audience. Ooh, that should be interesting. Don't forget creating custom engines. Um, this will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu once you have researched the custom engine. Okay, good to know. Um, but yeah, let's just see what the game report is for our simulation racer. Uh, our post-release analysis of Super Racer Deluxe Ultra is complete, and we got the following results. Racing and simulation is a great combination. Dialogue seemed to be not important for this type of game. As I thought. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, hope you had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. See you next time, guys. Oh, wait. Industry news. 
Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors circulating that Vena, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. See you guys next time. Bye.